Hello everyone. Today I'm recording this video to share with you something that I recently discovered, which is the possibility to undervolt your NVIDIA GPU on your beloved Linux operating system, or at least make your GPU works as always but consuming less power, hitting less, and then making less noise since fans will work with less RPM. So as you can see on uh, my favorite game Monster Hunter World I'm getting around 340 watt of uh, power consumption with a frequency that it is at uh, 1905 megahertz almost uh, stable and I'm getting uh, 9251 megahertz on the VRAM frequency my GPU is at uh, 67 degree with uh, everything at standard which is the, the BIOS and the fan curve. On my first approach uh, my undervolting was a little bit uh, more aggressive since uh, I was not recording but with the recording I discovered that um, it was not stable since it crashed each time that I started uh, the undervolting on uh, my uh, recording. So now I'm less aggressive with the, my last script and we can already see after executing uh, that script that I'm still at 1905 megahertz on the frequency of the GPU however I'm consuming this time only 274 watts when in the same time I managed to overclock my VRAM frequency from 9251 MHz to 9751 MHz I'm still getting the same frame per second and by the way I'm working uh, I'm turning uh, Monster Hunter World with my RTX 3080 12 gigabyte using a Proton uh, version uh, 7.5. Uh, uh, so it is possible to undervolt your NVIDIA GPU on Linux. It's not simple, but it is possible. I didn't find anything about it uh, except uh, lowering maybe the frequency to consume less power but nothing uh, that um, explain how to undervolt your, your, your GPU uh, and getting the same or at least a stable uh, high frequency but consuming less power. We can see right now that uh, we went down from 340 watt to 270 which is about uh, 70 watt of uh, of uh, less consumption I feel that it is wonderful really my GPU temp now is stable at uh, around 61 degree 60 degree uh, when it was at 67 68 without the undervolting so uh, let me know in the comments below if um, there is some people that I that are interested on this topic because I'm curious to see if this topic may interest some Linux user and if so I made a comment maybe uh, how I, I did that and why not making uh, another video with a uh, complete tutorial uh, that explain my approach to get this result. See you!